to give a proper injection inferior alveolar nerve block first you have to retract the tissue okay uncle so this is the terigo mandibular raphe this is the deepest portion of the anterior border of the ramus that is the coronoid notch so 3/4 3/4 three, distance from this or 1/4 distance from this you just have to keep two things in mind insert the needle at this point and keep your barrel of the syringe at the premolar region and majority of the time ye do cheezon se hi your block will be successful so i'm applying the topical anesthesia at the site of injection for the long buckle now for the long buckle site of injection is buckle and distal to the last molar last molar is the third molar here so here i'm applying the topical at the buckle and distal to third molar ये लिप पे नमनेस फील हो रहा है यस सर एंड व्हाट अबाउट द टंग हाफ ऑफ द हाफ ऑफ द टंग लेफ्ट साइड यस टिप पे यस सर ओके सो आई विल शो यू सो व्हाट आई डू इन ऑल माय पेशेंट इस पे सक्शन करो इज फर्स्ट आई शो द पेशेंट व्हाट एक्चुअल पेन इज ज्यादा नहीं होगा कोई डोंट वरी सो आई एम गोइंग टू पोक द म्यूकोजा ऑन द अपोजिट साइड वेयर आई हैव नॉट गिवन द एलए विद द ब्लंट एंड ऑफ द पेरियोस्टल एलिवेटर ये चुभ रहा है ओके सो द पेशेंट हैज रिएक्टेड टू द पेन नाउ व्हेन आई शो इट टू द साइड वेयर आई हैव गिवन द एलए इवन इफ आई प्रेस इट अ लिटिल हार्ड द पेशेंट डजंट एक्सपीरियंस एनी पेन जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट द इंफीरियर एल्बो नर्व ब्लॉक हैज एक्टेड यू शुड चेक इट anterior to the mental foramen that is the premolar and canine region yahan pe pain ho raha hai okay so inferior alveolar nerve block has acted fine and the long buckle has acted fine now i'm going to check for the lingual yahan pe pain ho raha hai okay what about this no okay so can you compare right and left side yahan pe pain ho raha tha yahan pe nahi ho raha hai hai na yes Uh, if you feel any pain or discomfort any type of discomfort just raise your left hand do not move your head suddenly no sudden movements okay it might lead to injuries to your soft tissue or tongue okay ready so you should always start the mucoperiosteal reflection from the papilla you are going to use a prying motion like this and then you are going to reflect the rest of the papilla not the papilla the sulcus the gingiva so can you see the level of reflection i'm doing yes sir so you should be able to visualize the bone properly that's how you'll be able to place the instrument at the foccation in this case i'm going to i plan to use a cohon forcep so for that i need to see the foccation area so here also again prying motion to reflect the papilla and then i'll go distally with the motion and like this if i show the reflection can you see Yes. Four to five mm. At least it should be done so that you can place the instrument properly in the sulcus. Okay. I am trying to remove this non-surgically. So I am checking whether I can get a good grip, good catch point. Remove your periosteum. So I am getting a good grip here. I'll try to place my vorvix in this region. Okay. So now the problem with this is we have a lone standing seven here. So I'll have to be very careful while applying the elevator. Okay. Uh, I have to make sure that I have to support the tooth with my thumb so that it does not get locked. Okay. Check now. Now section the area bigger. Any the area. at all so i'm going to place my thumb over the tooth 
So. The tooth is slightly luxated, but I can see some force is being transmitted to seven second molar. So now I'll try to use a forceps. I don't want to luxate this second molar. Hold. And if you are thinking that I am left hand, I am ambidextrous. I can work with both hands. Hold. Okay. All good, Chaiti. So, I am holding the tooth at the CJ between the two roots at the focation area. Okay? Okay. So, now I am going to support the mandible. You might feel some pressure and the tooth is out. You can see where I was holding the tooth at the focation. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. With the help of good assistant. Yeah. Thanks to my intelligent and smart assistant. <laughs> okay. So we have removed the eight. Now we want to remove six. Three six. And where's the light? Iske liye mujhe aage aana padega. So in this, you can see the tooth is just lying superficially. <coughs> The tooth is lying superficially, so I don't have to reflect in this case. There is no need for mucoperiosteal reflection. If I just push the instrument below the root, and if I try to push it upwards, it will come out automatically. Give me the tweezer. Take it out. So, this is the root. Okay. No, no, you want root. If you want to take a close-up, Lelo. So there is no need for a suture in this case. The papilla are well adapted to the teeth. So there is no need of the suture. So I am just going to irrigate this. Okay, so now I am irrigating the socket with betadine. And you have to irrigate the socket with so much pressure that if there is any debris inside the socket, it should come out with the force, force of the betadine solution. So, to put it in short, the irrigation is to be done under pressure. Okay. So, can you see the teeth are in occlusion and the gauze is applying pressure directly over the socket. This is how a pressure packing should be done. Okay. So now you can see both the pressure packs placed over the extraction sockets and they are not interfering with the occlusion. They're all the teeth are in proper occlusion and the pressure packs are sitting over the extraction socket. They were applying the pressure directly over the socket. Okay. Now close your mouth. Lips band karo. So the last thing to do is to make sure that there are no blood spot on the patient's face. So you can see there are some blood spot. Make sure when the patient leaves your clinic, there should be no spots on the patient's face. Make sure you clean the patient's face.